Welcome to Fantasy Audiobook, My Hero Academia, Sans Sand Fruit. Chapter 31. In the next time, Su Yuan doesn't plan to go out anymore, but to catch up on her sleep. At the same time, Hai Yuan Town. A car stopped at the gate of a villa. A fat man in a school uniform stepped out of the car. At this time, a fat woman walked out of it. Tata, did you pass the test? Hearing this, Tata trembled in his heart and did not dare to look at the woman. I don't know yet, the results haven't come out yet. Tata replied tremblingly. Ha, huh, the woman's expression suddenly changed and she said, don't you have any idea whether you passed the exam or not? I think there should be no problem. The more he talked about it, the weaker Tata felt. What a waste. Hero S is a bit more difficult. I won't say anything, but if you can't pass Shiji High School, you can get out of this house. The woman cursed, with a ferocious face, and wanted to it's not that I worry about people around me. If she would slander her own name, I'm afraid she would have beaten her son up long ago. Tata lowered his head and said nothing. Come in, the woman said in a deep voice, then turned around and walked towards the villa. Tata stood there, not daring to move forward. Suddenly, at this moment, a louder voice came over. Didn't you hear me tell you to come in? As this voice fell, Tata was very scared, but he still followed it slowly and walked in. Because he knew that if he didn't obey now, the consequences would be more serious. Boom, after the villa door closed, Tata's whole body began to tremble. Do you still remember that boy named Baekwon Su Yuan? The woman asked with her back to Tata. Remember, remember, Tata said softly. Before, when you bullied him at school, I didn't say anything, because in my eyes, being able to bully others is also a kind of ability. But, last night, do you know what the old man said to me when he came over? The more the woman talked, the angrier she became. Say, what did you say? Tata asked. Baekwon Su Yuan has been admitted to the Hero S department. Tata was stunned, shook his head and said, No, it's impossible, that guy hasn't even awakened quirks. How is it possible that he can get into the Hero S department? Time has passed, how come you still have this idea of unawakened quirks in your mind? Not only is he now the apprentice of the number one professional Hero S All Might, he has also successfully passed the exam. What about you? Tell me carefully, what can you do, this loser? You said it's difficult to get into the Hero Test. Well, you are allowed to go to Shiji High School, but what? You have disappointed me. The woman said word by word, it seemed that every word contained some kind of power, making Tata unable to breathe. With a, plop, sound, Tata knelt down directly at this moment. I'm sorry to disappoint you. How to deal with you, let's wait until your father comes back. The woman left a word and left. Tata was left alone kneeling in the hall. Tata's face was a little distorted, and he kept chattering in his mouth. Impossible, impossible, how can a loser become a hero? It's all his fault, it's all the old man's fault. I will make that old man pay the price. I will make the entire family pay the price. Tata muttered. In a blink of an eye, the time has arrived again, noon. According to the original plan, Su Yuan was going to go swimming at the beach after noon today, but he didn't go because he was too sleepy. Originally, I wanted to continue resting for an afternoon, but there was no way. Sato Kyoko said that she would take herself to a beautiful place. There was no other way, Su Yuan had no choice but to get better. However, things didn't go well. As soon as he left the house, he bumped into Tata. At this time, Tata originally wanted to come over to take revenge on Grandpa Su Yuan, but unexpectedly, he bumped into Su Yuan. It seems that God took pity on me and allowed me to bump into you. Tata laughed ferociously. Tata, what are you doing here? Seeing Tata, Sato Kyoko's eyes were full of disgust. Go away, this is between me and this loser. Do you think you can still stand in front of him like you did when you were a child? Tata cursed at Sato Kyoko. Su Yuan pulled Sato Kyoko behind him and said with a smile, Didn't I just say last night that I awakened quirks and asked me to protect you? Kyoko Sato glanced at Su Yuan and nodded. How could a person who can take the test as a hero be so weak? I guess you got into the hero school through All Might's connections. Tata said coldly. Su Yuan smiled. I don't really like chattering with others, let alone pigs. 
Tata was angry and struck Su Yuan with his thick arm. With a sound of, Pa, Su Yuan took it easily. Too weak, Su Yuan said expressionlessly. You are the loser, you have no right to talk to me like this. Tata roared angrily. Just as he was about to attack Su Yuan in the next round, Su Yuan kicked him away. Immediately afterwards, he fell heavily to the ground. It feels like a shame that you are even weak enough to let me use quirks on you. Su Yuan slowly approached him. Tata frowned and quickly got up. The trash has to stay in the trash pile, why are you running out? Tata roared. It was obvious that he was born in that kind of family, and his personality has long been distorted. It can even be described as perverted. As soon as he finished speaking, Su Yuan punched him in the abdomen. Suddenly, he flew out and fell to the ground again. Kneel down, otherwise, I may not know what will happen next. Su Yuan said in a deep voice. Tata got up from the ground again, I should be the one to say this. After saying that, Tata's arm swelled up, a hundred times larger than normal. Go to hell, Tata roared angrily and punched Su Yuan directly. Z, at this moment, Su Yuan's arm also covered armament hockey, and he punched. With a sound of, bang, the fists of one large and one small collided together. Just when Sato Kyoko was worried about Su Yuan, an unexpected scene happened to her. Tata was actually ejected. Immediately afterwards, the ground kept rolling, and after rubbing for a while, he stopped. At this time, Tata was very embarrassed and stood up unsteadily. He stared at Su Yuan with sharp eyes. Su Yuan, on the other hand, continued to approach him. At this moment, Tata felt a little guilty. He knew that the Su Yuan now was no longer the child who was bullied by him and did not dare to say a word. Tap tap tap. Every sound of footsteps made Tata fall into deeper and deeper fear. Finally, he couldn't bear it anymore and started to give up. Don't, don't come here. Tata shouted hesitantly, while involuntarily stepping back. Suddenly, he turned around and was about to run away from here. However, Su Yuan came directly in front of him with a swish sound and slapped him in the face. Boom, Tata flew directly to the side and then hit the wall and the entire wall collapsed directly. Rolling smoke and dust rose rapidly. PFF, a large mouthful of blood spat out from his mouth. You have one last chance, Su Yuan said solemnly. The next moment, he continued walking towards Tata. At this time, in the smoke and dust, Tata jumped out with a splash. He knelt directly on the ground. I was wrong, I was wrong, Su Yuan, please forgive me for the sake of our former classmates. Tata said while banging his head on the ground. Not to mention, the knock was very loud, and the ground where he was hit was directly stained red with his blood. Classmate, ha ha, don't say that, I have never been your classmate from beginning to end. Su Yuan said in a deep voice. When Tata heard this, his whole body began to tremble. He rolled around and wanted to hug Su Yuan's thigh and beg for mercy. But at this moment, Su Yuan shouted loudly. Go away, don't dirty my clothes. Tata was stunned for a moment and froze in place a little stiffly. Forget it, Su Yuan, he is quite pitiful. At this time, Sato Kyoko slowly walked over, took Su Yuan's arm, and motioned for him to stop. Tata, I'm in a good mood today and don't want to do anything outrageous, but you and I don't know what the consequences will be next time. Su Yuan said in a deep voice. Tata quickly replied. I know, if I mess around in the future, I will die badly. Get out, Su Yuan said coldly. When Tata heard this, he immediately ran away. Looking at the collapsed wall, Su Yuan frowned. He had to think of a good reason to deceive his grandfather. Otherwise, nagging from the whole family will be inevitable. I haven't seen you in a few years, Su Yuan, you have become so strong. Sato Kyoko said with a slight smile. It's a pity that your ideal is not to be a professional hero, s. If you practice, you might be stronger than me, Su Yuan said. Stop confusing me, let's go, I'll take you somewhere, Sato Kyoko said. Glancing at the bricks on the ground, Su Yuan nodded, okay. At this time, Tata had returned to the villa and was secretly taking medicine that could quickly heal wounds. Bang bang bang. Just then, there was a knock on the door of his room. Tata immediately looked at the door of the room and replied with a pale face. Who? It's me, Master Tata. 
The boss asked you to come over. The butler said softly. Tata hesitated for a moment and asked, What does my father want from me? It seems to be because of the exam, the housekeeper replied. Hearing this, Tata breathed a sigh of relief. If they knew that if they knelt down to survive today, the consequences would be like this. He really didn't know. Some people may say that even when asked, don't admit that anyone knows what happened to you. It might be okay for ordinary people to do this, but Tata's mother, Quirks, can peek into other people's memories. However, this Quirks of hers only peeks into the recent past. As long as I admit that I failed the exam, it will be fine. Tata comforted himself, then walked out. Arriving in the hall, his parents were sitting on the sofa with solemn expressions. Mom and Dad, I've embarrassed you. I failed Shiji High School. Before his parents could say anything, Tata immediately called them all. What's wrong with your forehead? Tata's father asked softly. I just accidentally hit the wall. Tata explained. But, the housekeeper said that you went out and came back injured. Where did you, go? The woman said coldly. Tata remained silent. The woman continued. Did you go to the old man's house? No. No, Tata replied. You know, it's useless to lie in front of me. Don't force me to use quirks, otherwise the result will be very different. The woman said solemnly. Tata's whole body was shaking. At this moment, he finally couldn't bear the pressure and made a plop. He knelt down and said, I shouldn't have gone to that old man's house. The woman walked slowly over, reached Tata's side, and put her hand on his head. Immediately afterwards, Tata screamed, covered his head, and started yelling. Baekwon Su Yuan, how capable are you? How dare you let our family suffer such humiliation? There was murderous intent in the woman's eyes. What happened? Tata's father asked. The woman told him succinctly, and immediately after, Tata's father looked ferocious. Trash, what's the use of keeping you? You're going to smear us all. You're in charge of your family. Tata's father roared angrily. Dad, I was wrong, I was wrong, please don't serve me like a family. Now is not the time for family law to serve, Bai Kwan Su Yuan, we must not let him survive today. The woman said coldly. Hearing this, Tata's father frowned, his face serious, and it was okay to come forward and ask them for an explanation. However, his wife threatened that he would not survive today, which made him feel that it was a bit of a fuss. The most important thing is that Kitagawa Su Yuan's parents are also professional hero s and he is also an All Might apprentice. Once killed, things will become more and more troublesome. You must not do this. I think we can just write it off like this. Duoshan's father said in a deep voice. What was written off with what? The woman asked. Many years ago, Tata often bullied others Su Yuan. The old man came to complain again every few days. It's not like you didn't know. In addition, today, Tata's caused trouble again, so the fault is not Baekwon Su Yuan's fault, Tata's father said slowly. When Tata heard this, he pointed the finger at himself again, and immediately said quickly, Dad. Dad, I was wrong, I am in retreat, I am in retreat myself. Shut up, the woman yelled at herself viciously. Do you mean to forget it like this? The woman asked. Yes, Tata's father nodded. Why do you want my family to lose face? Your own son is asked to kneel down, so why do you want us to lose face? You don't have to kill him, but I want to make his legs disabled. The woman said in a deep voice. Tata's father frowned. I think you two are crazy. I think you're crazy, the woman retorted. What made Tata become as twisted as he is now? It's the family rules you brought from home. Do you understand? It doesn't matter if you destroy a child, are you going to destroy this family? Tata's father asked. That's unreasonable, Tata, let's go. Your father is afraid of trouble, but I'm not. As she said that, the woman pulled Tata and left in a hurry. Tata's father didn't hold back and just sat on the sofa. As for Tata, as his father said, his heart has been twisted. As long as he is not served by the family law, he is willing even if his parents die in front of them. What's more, it's just a small matter like a quarrel, which has no impact on him. At this time, Su Yuan sighed. The place that Kyoko Sato is going to take Su Yuan to is the secret base, where they often sneaked to play when they were children. However, things have changed now, and it is covered with all kinds of weeds. 
Even the wooden house he built to escape his grandfather, which he had made a mistake before, had collapsed. This is the place you want to take me to, Su Yuan said with a smile, looking at the endless weeds. Don't you remember this place? Sato Kyoko asked. Su Yuan rolled his eyes at her and replied, How is that possible? My memory is not that bad yet. The way things are now, I thought you had forgotten. Sato Kyoko said calmly. Su Yuan said calmly. I didn't sleep less in this place when I was a child. Yes, your grandfather was looking for you to find Lao Ku. Kyoko Sato joked. Su Yuan smiled. Seeing Su Yuan smile, Sato Kyoko also laughed. After cleaning the wooden house, the two of them sat there and started chatting about the past. About an hour passed. Suddenly, a cold voice came from behind them. Mom, he is indeed here. As soon as he finished speaking, two fat figures appeared in Su Yuan's sight. What, did you forget what happened in the morning so quickly? Su Yuan said to Tata expressionlessly. Tata sneered, with his mother here, of course he was not afraid of Su Yuan. My mother said I would break your legs. Tata said with a proud look on his face. Okay, if I can't do it myself, I'll ask my mother to come over. Su Yuan said sarcastically. Auntie, what happened this morning was Tata's first move, and Su Yuan was just. Sato Kyoko was about to reason with Tata's mother, but she was suddenly stopped by Su Yuan. Xingzi, what are you doing? Are you trying to reason with them? If they could reason with them, would they still come here? Su Yuan sneered. Immediately, he turned his attention to the woman again and said in a deep voice, Who is right? Today's hero s are just a profession in this society. Stop talking to me about this. You have to pay the price for asking my son to kneel down to you. Now, you have two choices. First, I will break your legs, and second, you will destroy your legs yourself. The woman said. What if I choose neither of them? Su Yuan said solemnly. Then let me help you choose. As soon as the woman finished speaking, an invisible force suddenly attacked Su and the others. This power is invisible, but Su Yuan can see its shape. Get out of the way. Su Yuan was stunned, and pulled Sato Kyoko and rushed directly to the side. The woman was slightly shocked when she saw this scene. What? What happened? Sato Kyoko looked at Su Yuan with a puzzled look and asked. Su Yuan, on the other hand, glanced at the place where he was standing just now and did not receive any impact. That old woman's quirks seemed to be the type of spiritual attack. Su Yuan said in a deep voice. Before, after the woman finished speaking, Su Yuan suddenly felt as if something was flying towards him. However, he had a feeling that he had some kind of power to fight against, and sure enough, when he released Conqueror's Hockey, he could see the hidden things. Psychic attack, Sato Kyoko was slightly startled. What did you just arrive? The woman said curiously. Women's quirks, called, peepers, can perform psychic attacks that are only visible to the releaser. Of course, this does not mean that it cannot be avoided. The premise is that you can see it. Most people can't see it and can resist everything. However, if their mental power is stronger than that of the releaser, they can be immune. Su Yuanli ignored the woman's questions and said softly to Kyoko Sato, leave first. With your strength, staying here will only hinder me. But, Sato Kyoko stopped talking. Don't worry, I seem to have understood her quirks. Su Yuan said solemnly. Then be careful, I'll go get you some reinforcements. After that, Sato Kyoko turned around and started running. At this time, Tata jumped up and wanted to catch Sato Kyoko. But unexpectedly, Su Yuan suddenly appeared in midair. Kicked over with one kick. Bang, sound. Tata fell directly to the ground. Taking advantage of this opportunity, Sato Kyoko ran as fast as she could. Tata stood up and was about to continue the pursuit. Suddenly, a voice came from behind him. There's no need to chase her. Our target is Baekwon Su Yuan. That girl can just leave. The woman said without changing her expression. Tata dusted himself off and nodded. Okay, mom. After the words fell, the woman's eyes fell on Su Yuan. Did you see something just now? The woman asked repeatedly. Do I need to tell you anything? Su Yuan sneered. It doesn't matter if you don't tell, I will know naturally. The woman also sneered. Immediately afterwards, an invisible force flew towards Su Yuan once again on her body. 
Su Yuan jumped up and easily dodged the woman's mental attack. The woman frowned. Su Yuan's actions all meant that he could see his own mental attack. Quirks, who represented himself even more, were of no use to Su Yuan. Do you only release these boring things? Su Yuan said coldly, and disappeared from the place with a swipe. The next second, he appeared directly behind the woman. Although the woman was aware of it, her body was unable to dodge such a fast attack. There was a, pop, sound. Su Yuan kicked him on the side of the abdomen. Bang bang bang, the impact caused her to tumble in midair. Finally, it landed hard on the ground, splashing thick dust. Mom, Tata was stunned when he saw this scene, a little afraid that his mother would fall down like this. Because once his mother falls, it means that he is also finished. Ahem, in the thick smoke and dust, the woman stood up. Are this guy's quirks of the speed type? The woman said in a deep voice. Unfortunately, you guessed wrong. But besides mental attacks, don't you know anything else? Su Yuan said calmly. The woman frowned, something was beyond her expectation. She thought this matter would be resolved easily. As long as you release the mental attack, knock him down immediately, and then break Su Yuan's legs, that's it. But now, things are developing completely differently than I expected. Of course, women can also do physical arts, but they are not strong. Due to their obesity, their strength has increased, but their speed has dropped a lot. As for Su Yuan, women can feel that his physical strength is completely superior to hers. Tata, come on, the woman said coldly. Hearing this, Tata was stunned. No, mom, my quirks are useless against his. The woman's anger rose. You are as useless as your father. Tata lowered his head and remained silent. Trash, are you going to deal with you when you get back? Seeing Tata acting like this at this moment, the woman couldn't help but continue to curse. Go back, humph, Su Yuan sneered, do you think you can still go back? What, do you mean to kill us, mother and son? Do you dare? As soon as the woman finished speaking, a voice suddenly rang out. Desert Sword, as soon as he finished speaking, a cold light struck directly towards Tata and the others. Wherever it passed, the earth cracked open. The woman was startled and quickly ran away. But Tata was not so lucky, and his movements were always a step slower. One arm was cut off directly by Su Yuan's desert sword. Ah, Tata covered his wound and lay on the ground struggling, wailing, help me, help me, mom, I'm going to die. The woman frowned and shifted her gaze from Tata to Su Yuan. Dense beads of sweat slowly emerged. You kid, be serious. The woman muttered. Then you think I'm joking with you. Su Yuan said in a deep voice. You, a person full of murderous intent, are not worthy of being a professional hero s. The woman said coldly. Full of murderous aura, not worthy of being a professional hero s. Ha ha. Hearing this, Su Yuan couldn't help laughing and continued. Are you telling me that professional hero s are noble? In this society, professional hero s are nothing more than a job. By the way, do you think that since I have become a professional hero s I won't kill people when things like this happen? Let me tell you, don't talk nonsense to me. Whoever threatens me will be killed by me. No one in the world is exempt. There is nothing wrong with Su Yuan being filled with murderous intent at this moment. As for whether he is just or evil, it all depends on the situation. Mom, help me, it hurts so much, I'm going to die. Tata was rolling on the ground in pain and yelling. Shut up, if you make any more noise, I'll kill you first, the woman shouted. Your quirks are of no use to me. To me, it means that you have lost your fighting ability. It's over. As Su Yuan spoke, a mini tornado appeared out of thin air in his hand. At this moment, the woman suddenly disappeared in front of Su Yuan. The next moment, she came directly behind Su Yuan and punched Su Yuan. However, unfortunately, these actions of women were already expected by Su Yuan. He turned quickly and stretched out his hand to block the punch. Bang! Su Yuan took a step back slightly. However, he grabbed the woman's fist, and in the next second, the woman's arm dried up, and she looked a little scary. When she saw this scene, her expression changed drastically, and she hurriedly tried to break away. However, unexpectedly, in the blink of an eye, her whole body was withered, and she was like a mummy at this moment. Bang! 
Su Yuan threw her directly to the ground, and then turned his attention to Tata. He is still lying on the ground, rolling around. Tap tap tap. After hearing the footsteps, Tata immediately climbed up from the ground with difficulty. Seeing that it was Su Yuan, he quickly looked around again, and when he saw the withered body lying on the ground, Tata felt even more panicked. I was wrong, I was wrong, Su Yuan, you gave me a chance. This time it was my mother who forced me to come. It's all his fault. Tata knelt on the ground again, kowtowing again, and wanting to leg hugging. However, Su Yuan stopped him directly. If it hadn't been for Sato Kyoko's sake this morning, I'm afraid you would have been a useless person. As he spoke, Su Yuan directly grabbed his neck and lifted him up. Tata originally wanted to struggle, but after a while, he also turned into a mummy. Bah! Su Yuan threw it away. Suddenly, at this moment, a figure flashed past, directly caught Tata, followed closely, and walked in the direction of the woman. Su Yuan was stunned for a moment, but soon became vigilant. The man placed Tata next to the woman. Then he turned around and cast his eyes on Su Yuan. It's all over, let's stay here forever. The man said, and his whole body began to burst into flames. I saw him waving his hands, cremation in hell. Boom, a huge fireball suddenly appeared in the sky. Then, the man turned back and lay next to the woman. Su Yuan frowned. Do you want to go home together? As soon as Su Yuan finished speaking, a huge fireball crashed down. Suddenly, a violent explosion spread throughout Haiyuan town. The mountain, after the explosion, had become a sea of fire. At this time, Sato Kyoko and Su Yuan's parents were rushing to the mountain. But with the violent explosion, the four of them were stunned. Su Yuan, will Su Yuan be okay? Sato Kyoko said worriedly. Su Yuan's mother frowned, and now he also wanted to ask others, Su Yuan should be okay. Don't worry, my grandson won't die. That bad boy really went too far and did such a thing. Grandpa Su Yuan scolded. Kitagawa Toyota's face was a little stiff. Looking at the sea of fire, Su Yuan's chance of survival was almost zero. However, dozens of seconds later, the raging fire was filled with sand and dust. Moreover, the fire situation is slowly getting smaller. What? What's going on? Not only did the fire not spread, but it seemed to have become smaller. Kitagawa Toyota said in a deep voice. Is there anyone alive up there, putting out the fire? Su Yuan's mother was startled, and soon thought it might be her son. If only we could fly. Kitagawa Toyota said with a solemn expression. Sato Kyoko was also very anxious at this moment and kept wandering in place. However, the next moment, she discovered a problem. The soil underfoot became softer. She was slightly startled, then stretched out her hand to grab it out of curiosity. Suddenly, she was shocked. The soil was turning into sand at a speed that could be seen with the naked eye. Uncle, what's going on? The soil under our feet turned into sand, Sato Kyoko said in a deep voice. Everyone was stunned when they heard this, and quickly looked at the ground. Sure enough, a large part of the soil had really turned into sand. How is this going? Is it Su Yuan? His quirks are related to sand. Su Yuan's mother replied. It can't be wrong, he is saving himself up there. Kitagawa Toyota said in a deep voice. At this moment, a voice faintly appeared on the mountain covered in a sea of fire. Erosion of reincarnation. As soon as he finished speaking, with Su Yuan as the center, an invisible force was spreading in all directions. Everywhere it passed, rocks, trees, and weeds turned into sand. The sand grains began to spread with the airflow, and thick smoke and dust enveloped the entire Haiyuan town in a matter of seconds. The volcano that was still burning just now has been extinguished at this moment. The originally green mountain with dense trees has turned into a golden desert at this moment. The buildings in Haiyuan town were luckier, but some turned into sand. The thick smoke and dust had almost dissipated, and at this moment, the appearance of the earth had almost entered their sight. What the hell happened? Toyota Kitagawa was frightened when he saw this scene. No, it couldn't have been Su Yuan who did it. Su Yuan's mother added. Su Yuan, hearing this name, Sato Kyoko was stunned. Is it Su Yuan who made the whole mountain? No, the whole Haiyuan town become what it is now. If so, what has he experienced in the past few years? What? 
he has grown to this point. No, it was definitely not Su Yuan. How could he have such terrifying abilities? Su Yuan's grandfather retorted. Don't worry about this for now. The most important thing for us right now is to find Su Yuan. Kitagawa Toyota said and hurriedly ran forward through the desert. At this time, Su Yuan was lying on the desert, breathing heavily. The continuous use of large moves was somewhat unbearable with his current body. Are you too careless? You were almost killed. Su Yuan looked at the sky, covering his eyes with his hands to block the sun's rays, and raised the corners of his mouth slightly. This fireball was almost the ultimate move made by burning Tata's father's life. He originally planned to use this move to perish together with Su Yuan. Then the matter came to an end, but unexpectedly, Su Yuan actually walked out alive from his ultimate move. After a while, Su Yuan's parents also looked for Su Yuan. Seeing that he was fine, everyone finally let go of their worries. The next thing is to explain why such a thing happened. Of course, Su Yuan also told a lot of half-truths and half-lies. In addition, Sato Kyoko's confession was completely consistent, and what Su Yuan didn't expect was that Tata's housekeeper would actually side with him during the investigation. Moreover, it also tarnished the Tata family. As for whether he had been abused by this family before, Su Yuan didn't know. The morning news is playing below. Yesterday afternoon, a professional hero's murder occurred in Haiyuan town. When professional hero's Duo Jing murdered an ordinary person, he accidentally killed his son and wife together with himself. Kill them all. According to local residents, yesterday afternoon, the mountains in Haiyuan town suddenly turned into a sea of fire, but at this moment, a strange scene occurred. A sandstorm actually appeared in the volcano, and then not long after, the dense growth of the mountain of forests turned into a desert. In the dark bar, a sickly-looking man was held by fourteen hands. He was staring intently at this morning's news. A sea of fire for a while, a desert for a while. Something very interesting seems to have happened in Haiyuan town. Tamura Shigaraki said coldly. Professional hero as murder ordinary people. Obviously, the official has hidden this person's information. This person must mean something. Kurogiri added. Ha 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 ha, hidden. I am very interested in this ordinary person. The news only explained the death of professional hero as including his son and wife, but it did not explain whether this ordinary person was injured or not. Tell me, is there anything fishy in this? Tamura Shigaraki asked. How do you say this? Kurogiri asked in confusion. I know a little bit about Tao's professional hero s. His quirks are, raging fires. The raging fire mentioned in the news should refer to the quirks released by Taui. And it was mentioned later that the volcano that was once blazing with fire suddenly turned into a desert. I guess this should be the ordinary person's quirks. Why doesn't the news say ordinary people? Obviously, the official is hiding something. Perhaps, we can learn the secrets, and it might be good for us. Tamura Shigaraki analyzed. All Might's home. A whole mountain suddenly turned into a desert. Why do I think of the boy from Baikwan immediately? But it's impossible. Haiyuan town is more than 400 kilometers away from here. All Might began to mutter after reading the news talk to yourself. Perhaps before, he might have brushed off this kind of news, but it was different now. There was also a quirks related to sand beside him. Therefore, he had to pay attention, but soon, according to his reasoning, this had nothing to do with Baikwan Su Yuan at all. Oh, what am I thinking about? There are still important things to do today. As he said that, he quickly turned off the TV, held a piece of bread in his hand, and went out. In the blink of an eye, five days have passed since the professional hero's murder incident. That night, after Su Yuan said goodbye to Sato Kyoko, he returned to his home with his parents. During this period, he also received a message from Shangying. Baikwan Su Yuan ranked first with 60 points in actual skills and 60 points in special rescue. The admission competition rate for the hero's subject of harrowing high school exceeds 300 every year. Excluding the four recommended places, the normal number of students admitted through the examination is 36. There are 18 people in a class, and there are only two classes in total. As for Su Yuan, he was assigned to class 1A. As for whose spot he squeezed out, it is not his fault at all. Su Yuan is to blame. 
If he is to blame, it can only be blamed on their lack of ability. Time passed quickly, and in the blink of an eye, we had arrived at Shangying's entrance. However, Su Yuan was a bit unlucky on this day and got up late. After quickly cleaning up, he quickly rushed towards Shangying. The hugeness of Shangying school is unquestionable, because he is the number one existence in this country. As for how to describe his hugeness, if it weren't for the guidance sign, Su Yuan probably wouldn't have been able to find Class 1A. Tap tap tap. Continuous footsteps sounded in the corridor of the teaching building. Aha! Su Yuan suddenly stopped and looked at the big 1A written on the door. We're finally here, Su Yuan said, reaching out and pushing the door open. The whole class sat upright and looked at the blackboard, and under the podium, there was a yellow sleeping bag. You're late, Aizawa Shota stuck his head out of the yellow sleeping bag and said to Su Yuan. Su Yuan was about to find a reason, but Aizawa Shota said, hurry up and find a place to do it. Su Yuan nodded, glanced around, and finally placed it in the lower right corner of the last row, and finally walked over. Before time travel, Su Yuan also sat in this position when he was studying. In the eyes of the teacher, he was a scumbag and the leader in the class. As this, the man who appeared in my building half a year ago. Yaoyorozu Momo looked at Su Yuan and murmured to himself. I feel relieved that you are here too. Bakugo Katsuki looked at Su Yuan, the corners of his mouth raised slightly. Is he the top candidate in the entrance exam, All Might's apprentice, Kitagawa Su Yuan? Shodo Todoroki thought secretly. Suddenly, at this moment, a voice interrupted their gaze. I am your class teacher, Aizawa Shoda, please give me your advice. Aizawa Shoda said listlessly on the podium. Hearing what Aizawa Shoda said, everyone sitting in the classroom, except Su Yuan, was slightly surprised. After all, their ideal head teacher is a tall, mighty, handsome and powerful person. But what about reality? He was unshaven, listless, and seemed likely to collapse at any moment. Although it looks a bit frail, this is a superhuman society. Being thin no longer means cowardice, and being tall does not necessarily mean being strong. What's the problem? Aizawa Shota glanced at them. Everyone shook their heads and said in unison, No, no problem. Well, let's not waste time. Wear this and come to the playground. Aizawa Shota said, bending down to pick up his sleeping bag. Then he took out the sportswear from inside. After that, Aizawa Shota went to the playground first, while Su Yuan and the others went to the locker room to change into sportswear. Su Yuan is really amazing. I heard from All Might that you set a new record for the highest entrance test score in history. Midoriya Izuku put on his sportswear first and walked to Su Yuan's side and said softly. Really, I didn't pay much attention to this. Su Yuan said slowly. However, it is true that Su Yuan is not very interested in this. In his eyes, as long as he can pass, it will be fine. As for those who set new records, it is a complete accident. I'm a little nervous on my first day at Yuying. Midoriya Izuku covered his chest and smiled slightly. Nervous, Su Yuan smiled when he heard this, but for now, he has already gotten used to this world. Therefore, he has been through the gate of hell several times, and his mentality has been tempered for a long time. How could he be nervous about such a trivial matter? Bakugo looks like he wants to eat you in one bite. Do you owe him something? Su Yuan looked at Midoriya Izuku and asked. Midoriya Izuku quickly waved his hand and explained, this is what he is like. Oh, is it? Let's go, let's gather at the playground. Yeah, Su Yuan nodded. As soon as he walked out of the locker room and walked a few steps in the corridor, Su Yuan felt his shoulder being tapped several times. Turning around subconsciously, Yaoyorozu Momo appeared in his sight. Excuse me, do you still remember me? Yaoyorozu Momo asked softly. Su Yuan was stunned for a moment, wondering why she suddenly asked this question, but he still answered truthfully. Remember, what's wrong? Yaoyorozu Momo smiled slightly. What a coincidence. I didn't expect that we are students in the same class. Thank you last time. Last time, what happened in the building? Yaoyorozu Momo nodded. If it weren't for you, I don't know if I would be safe. Su Yuan smiled and joked. If it weren't for me, you would be safer. Of course, what Su Yuan said is true. There is no Su Yuan in the original work. However, 
Yaoyorozu Momo came to Shangying differently. However, Su Yuan is a little curious. If he had never appeared in this world, would the professional hero s fighting in the building still be all might? What? Yaoyorozu Momo was stunned, with a big question mark on his face. But yes, it would be strange if she could understand what Su Yuan meant. Nothing. Su Yuan smiled. While they were talking, they had already arrived at the playground and each had lined up. Aizawa Shota glanced at them and finally said sleepily, You are going to take the Quirk's Mastery Test today. Quirk's Mastery Test? Uraraka Ochako was stunned and asked, Is there no entrance ceremony? Is there no introduction on campus? Aizawa Shota glanced at her speechlessly and said in a deep voice, If you want to be a hero s you won't have time to participate in such leisurely activities. One of the selling points of Shangying is the liberal school spirit, and this also applies to teachers. You should have done it when you were in junior high school, right? This type of physical fitness test, but with quirks disabled. While speaking, Aizawa Shota took out something the size of a mobile phone screen and handed it to them. Most of the items displayed there are some ordinary physical fitness test items. For example, standing long jump, 50 meter run, repeated horizontal jump, etc. Yeah, everyone nodded. Here at Shangying, you are allowed to use quirks for testing. Everyone understands the meaning, Aizawa Shota said in a deep voice. Everyone nodded again. Well, then, the one who won the first place in the practical test is Kitagawa Su Yuan, right? Aizawa Shota asked. Su Yuan nodded. How many meters could you throw a softball in junior high school? Aizawa Shota continued to ask. Su Yuan frowned. There was no memory of this in his mind. 70 meters. Su Yuan reported a number randomly. Well, then use quirks and throw it around. Aizawa Shota said to Su Yuan. Su Yuan nodded, got the softball, and walked into the circle. Aizawa Shota on the side said, As long as you don't get out of that circle, you can do whatever you want. Okay, let's start quickly. Time is very tight. Su Yuan hummed, then held the softball in his hand tightly, and then threw the softball with all his strength. After the softball escaped from Su Yuan's hand, it immediately cut through the air and made a harsh sound. Around Su Yuan, the preparatory movements were made too fast, causing a direct flow of air. After a while, the instrument in Aizawa Shota's hand suddenly made a sound. It means that the data has been transmitted back. However, there is indeed no number on the instrument, only a pink horizontal figure 8, but this does represent infinity. When Aizawa Shota saw this scene, his face suddenly became slightly stiff, this guy. As he spoke, he turned over the instrument in his hand and showed it to others. Unlimited. How powerful. They all threw infinity. It's really scary. It's a hero who came close with an overwhelming first place. Yeah, it's too powerful. Bakugo Katsuki on the side listened to these words, not to mention how uncomfortable he felt. Teacher, please allow me to throw quirks once too. Bakugo Katsuki suddenly said. Aizawa Shota glanced at Bakugo Katsuki and said softly, If I remember correctly, you are Bakugo. Yeah, Bakugo Katsuki nodded. No, just one person can demonstrate. It would be a waste of time for two people. Aizawa Shota refused. Originally, Aizawa Shota felt that he was running out of time, and he felt that it was a waste of time to let one person demonstrate. Now, Bakugo Katsuki also said to let him try. How could he, Aizawa Shota, agree? Anyway, everyone will need to lose once later. I'll just write it into the score this time. Bakugo Katsuki said slowly. Aizawa Shota thought for a few seconds and felt that what Bakugo Katsuki said made sense. Well, let's finish the project of throwing softballs first, and then move on to other things, then let Bakugo Katsuki do the second one. Aizawa Shota scrawled. Bakugo Katsuki raised the corners of his mouth slightly, holding the softball, and glanced at Su Yuan disdainfully from the corner of his eye. Then he walked into the circle. How many meters was it without quirks when you were in junior high school? Aizawa Shota asked. 67 meters. Bakugo Katsuki replied. Well, the rules are the same as what I just said, speed up. Aizawa Shota said. Bakugo Katsuki nodded slightly and started making preparations in the circle. So, as he spoke, he was ready to throw it out. Die, Bakugo Katsuki roared angrily, 
holding the softball in his hand, and threw it with all his strength. Aha! Suddenly, there was a flow of air around him, but compared with Su Yuan's, his was a bit shameless. It should be infinite, Bakugo Katsuki muttered, and then turned his attention to the instrument in Aizawa Shota's hand. Ding ding! At this time, the instrument in Aizawa Shota's hand had just sent back information. Aizawa Shota glanced at it without much expression, and then said calmly, Bakugo Katsuki 706 meters. Ha! When Bakugo Katsuki heard this, his eyes almost popped out of his head. Next, Aizawa Shota continued. Bakugo Katsuki didn't dare to say anything. He put his hands in his trouser pockets and slowly walked towards the crowd, wondering if there was something wrong with the instrument. After returning to the team, after a while, Aizawa Shota's voice came out again. Uraraka Ochako. Infinite. Ha! Huh. Bakugo Katsuki's eyes fell on Uraraka Ochako, and the corners of his mouth began to tremble. Okay, so awesome, the second one throws infinite. How strong is he? Maybe he can rival the number one. Watching their discussion, Aizawa Shota frowned and explained. The reason Uraraka Ochako can throw infinity is not because of her strength, but because her quirks just have a great impact on this project. Help. As for Baekwon Su Yuan, well, that's really powerful. Hearing this, people one after another cast envious glances at Su Yuan. Okay. Next one, Aizawa Shota continued, including the softball throwing activity, there are a total of eight tests, and Su Yuan has already completed one, which means that there are still seven tests. It's all such a boring, time-wasting test. Su Yuan frowned as he looked at the test content below, completely uninterested. Time flies very quickly, and in the blink of an eye, the first test is over. Okay, next, the 50-meter run. Whoever comes first. Aizawa Shota shouted softly. Me, Su Yuan said immediately. Standing here, he was almost sleepy. If he didn't move a little, he was afraid that he could actually fall asleep standing up. Yeah, Aizawa Shota hummed, and then continued. There is still one person left, who will come? As soon as he finished speaking, a loud voice rang out, yes, it was Bakugo Katsuki's. Okay, come on Bakugo Katsuki. Aizawa Shota said calmly. There are no rules for the 50-meter run, as long as you stay within the track, the use of quirks is allowed. After a while, Su Yuan and Bakugo Katsuki were ready on their respective tracks. Haha, <laughs> Bakugo Katsuki smiled meaningfully at Su Yuan. Su Yuan also smiled and said jokingly, To tell you the truth, you are not as good as me in that aspect now. Bakugo Katsuki was stunned, Huh, what did you say, you? Do you want a fight? It's up to you. Su Yuan smiled. Okay, wait for me after school, I will definitely kill you. Bakugo Katsuki smiled. What are the two of them doing? Uraraka Ochako said confused. Maybe they had a lot of hatred before. Iida added. Although I have become stronger than before, I still have an inexplicable fear of Shaosheng. Midoriya Izuku said, letting out a long sigh. But, fortunately, since Shaosheng came here, he seems to have been at odds with Su Yuan. He doesn't have time to trouble me anymore. Thinking of this, Midoriya Izuku sighed again. Hey, what are you two doing? Come on, get ready to start. Aizawa Shota shouted speechlessly. Su Yuan and the other two responded and got ready. Everyone is in position, get ready. As soon as the mechanical sound came down, a bang signaled the beginning. The two of them exerted force almost at the same time, and Bakugo Katsuki started to set off as soon as he stared at the running gear. The running aid is completely useless to Su Yuan. Because when he exerted his strength, he directly crushed the running gear, and then rushed over 50 meters at a speed invisible to the naked eye. Bakugo Katsuki only felt a cool feeling around him, and saw Su Yuan appeared in front of him. The, 1 second 09, instrument reported Su Yuan's situation. Bakugo Katsuki was stunned for a moment and was several seconds slower. The final result was six seconds. What did this guy do? Bakugo Katsuki was still confused. It's too, too fast. I didn't even see it clearly and we reached the finish line. One second. This is probably the fastest freshman in history. It should have refreshed the previous odds. Who knows? Baekwon Su Yuan. I damaged the equipment, please pay for it. Aizawa Shota suddenly said. 
The reason why Aizawa Shota said this was just to prevent Su Yuan from destroying other equipment. Although there is no need to accompany it, reinstalling it takes time. Okay, I'll be careful. Su Yuan replied with a smile. Aizawa Shota nodded, without saying anything more, and said to the others, next group. I'll do it, Midoriya Izuku said, quickly running to one of the two runways. I'm coming too, Uraraka Ochako said as he quickly walked to the other track. Uraraka Ochako's quirks are gravityless, and honestly, her quirks don't do much for this project. However, Izuku Midoriya's quirks is different. He is the one for all who inherited All Might. All aspects have been greatly improved, with strong explosive power. However, I don't know if he can regulate Su Yuan now. However, what Su Yuan knows is that the current Green Valley Izuku is definitely progressing faster than the Green Valley Izuku in the original work. After all, One for All was obtained five months earlier than the original work, so it can still be adjusted to a certain extent. As long as he can adjust, Midoriya Izuku will not be in the situation of killing a thousand enemies and damaging Yaoyorozu himself. And All Might also told him that there is only one reason for this kind of adjustment, and that is to rely on your own feeling. Everyone is in position. Get ready. Falling with the sound of machinery. Midoriya Izuku's legs began to twine with colored light particles. The sound of, bang, means that the game has begun. Sure enough, Midoriya Izuku rushed over. 3 seconds 09. 5 seconds 03. Bakugo Katsuki on the side looked very stiff when he saw this scene. Midoriya Izuku's changes are really too big, so big that it's hard for him, Bakugo Katsuki, to accept. Everything has changed since the sludge incident. Quirks awakened inexplicably, Bakugo Katsuki said through gritted teeth. Before the mud incident, the Midoriya Izuku who trembled all over and spoke hesitantly when he saw him is no longer there. The current Izuku Midoriya seems to have the strength to rival him, and he no longer talks crookedly when talking to him. What did he go through during this period of time? Bakugo Katsuki said in a deep voice. Time passed very quickly, and the eight projects were almost completed. Aizawa Shota, who had been listless before, seemed to have some interest at this moment. Kitagawa Su Yuan, Bakugo Katsuki, Midoriya Izuku, recommended student Shoto Todoroki, these four guys. It seems that this one is a bit powerful. For some reason, at this moment, Aizawa Shota seemed to see a team similar to the big three group. At this moment, at the same time, there was a knock on the door in the dark rental house. Immediately afterwards, a man walked out, and this man was Shikun, who had fought against Su Yuan before. Crack, the door opened, and what appeared in Shikun's eyes was an older man. How's it going? Have you done what I asked you to do? Ishimura asked. Well, since the information you gave me is a little short, if you want it to go faster, you'll have to pay more. The old man said with a stiff smile. It doesn't matter how much it is, I just ask you how long it will take. Ishimura said with a somewhat angry tone. If I have enough money, I can tell you today. The old man said. Okay, no problem. If the money is in place, if you don't do what I asked you to do today, you will bear the consequences yourself. Ishimura said, turned around and walked into the rental house, took out a stack of money and handed it to the old man in front of him. The old man received the money, counted it, and said, I found the Bakugo Katsuki you were looking for. He is currently studying in the Hero S department. Hero S. Ishimura frowned, but it was expected, because when he played against Su Yuan, Su Yuan's face was unfamiliar. Therefore, at that time, he was able to determine that Su Yuan was not a professional hero s but a student of a certain school. As expected, I really guessed it. If Shangying breaks in, he will suffer more than if he breaks into the office, because most of Shangying's teachers are not vegetarians. Even whether you can enter the heroic gate is still a problem. It seems we can only find a way to lure him out. Ishimura said calmly. By the way, boss, do you need any information about Haiyuan Town? Can I give you a 20% discount? The old man continued to ask. Shikun was stunned. What? What happened in Haiyuan Town? Didn't you watch the news? The older man asked. I'm sorry, I never pay attention to things on the internet, nor do I read the news. Please tell me first what terrible things happened in Haiyuan Town. Shikun asked slightly curiously. 
It's just that professional hero s murder an ordinary person and then accidentally kill their wife and son. Before the old man could finish his words, Shi Kun quickly stopped him and said, Okay, okay, it's none of my business. I can't even handle my own affairs. How can I have time to watch other people's jokes? The old man had no choice but to give up and said with a smile, Okay, boss, come and see me if you need anything in the future. 10% off for acquaintances. After that, the old man turned around and left. Ishimura's eyes gradually became sharp. Bakugo Katsuki, I hope you still remember me. This time my strength has greatly increased. The boss's side has almost expanded. It's time to take action. The courses at Harrowing are actually similar to those when Su Yuan was in junior high school, with the addition of a basic Hero S course. As for the basics of Hero S, it roughly means conducting various simulation trainings, simulating certain disasters to save people, and so on. There are normal courses in the morning and basic Hero S courses in the afternoon. However, since it was the first day for everyone to come to Yue, Aizawa Shota decided to cancel the basic class this afternoon. Taking advantage of the time after the physical fitness test, Aizawa Shota asked everyone to introduce himself. In the blink of an eye, it was time for Shangying to finish school in the afternoon. Bakugo Katsuki had a school bag hanging on one shoulder, put his hands in his trouser pockets, and leaned against the wall of Shangying, quietly waiting for Su Yuan to appear. I'm going to kill you. Bakugo Katsuki cursed. However, Su Yuan didn't remember what he said to Bakugo Katsuki during the test. Even if he remembered, he wouldn't come over for any one on one appointment. He's not that bored. Moreover, unfortunately, Su Yuan had already left Shangying, and he was almost back home at this time. As for Bakugo Katsuki, he was still leaning against the wall, waiting quietly. I heard that the one named Baekwon Su Yuan was assigned to the same class as you, right? Behind Shoto Todoroki, a steady voice came over. Shoto Todoroki stopped immediately, and when he heard this annoying sound, his expression changed drastically. Suppressing his emotions, Shoto Todoroki didn't reply and continued walking forward. He's very powerful, right? He might even surpass All Might. Even though Shoto Todoroki ignored him, Endeavor continued. You also know that those trained by the first and the second are just like the first, and the strength of the second is the same. Shoto Todoroki said this deliberately to anger Endeavor. As expected, these words directly made Endeavor, the second oldest child in 10,000 years, furious. What are you talking about? Endeavor said angrily. Shoto Todoroki ignored him, opened the door, changed his shoes, and walked in. Miyagawa Office After Shangying finished school, Su Yuan did not go back to his home, but came here immediately. In the gravity chamber where he had gained 200 pounds, Su Yuan was blindfolded and constantly dodging the punches. 198, 199, 200. While quietly reciting the number, he leaned his body to dodge. Now the fist speed in this gravity chamber has been adjusted to the highest level by Su Yuan. At present, he can dodge completely and continue like this for a while. Su Yuan was already sweating profusely. He turned off the equipment in the gravity chamber and sat down on the ground. These days, it seems that Conqueror's Hockey has improved again. Su Yuan muttered. Now, in Conqueror's Hockey, the only one that is better mastered is the sight color, then comes the weapon color, and then Conqueror's Hockey. Looking around at the hundreds of fists around him, Su Yuan sighed and continued, but, then again, a machine is always a machine without thinking. If you want to make the greatest progress, you still need to be in a desperate situation. As soon as he finished speaking, Su Yuan's cell phone rang. It was his father calling. Hey, Dad, what's wrong? Su Yuan asked subconsciously after answering the phone. Your mother and I have received a new mission. We may not go back tonight. You can take care of dinner yourself. There are vegetables in the refrigerator. After Kitagawa Toyota finished speaking, he hung up the phone without waiting for Su Yuan to reply. Looking at the message on the screen that the phone had been hung up, Su Yuan murmured to himself, it seems that something urgent has happened. Be careful. After Su Yuan muttered, he put the phone back into his pocket, packed it up, and walked towards home. Early the next morning, at this moment, on the wall of Yu Ying's entrance, Bakugo Katsuki was carrying his school bag on his shoulders. 
Ever since Su Yuan let go of his dove, he hadn't slept well all night, and now his eyes were bloodshot. Now he wanted to kill Su Yuan immediately to satisfy his hatred. After a long time, Midoriya Izuku and Su Yuan appeared in Bakugo Katsuki's sight. Baikwan Su Yuan. Bakugo Katsuki roared angrily, gritted his teeth, and ran towards Su Yuan. Hello, Shaosheng seems to have come to find you, Midoriya Izuku said suddenly. As soon as Midoriya Izuku finished speaking, Bakugo Katsuki jumped up and punched Su Yuan. Su Yuan jumped back subconsciously. I'll kill you for letting me go. Bakugo Katsuki shouted towards Su Yuan with a ferocious expression. Hearing this, Su Yuan recalled yesterday's appointment, and then smiled, Oh, I forgot about it, I'm so sorry. The corners of Bakugo Katsuki's mouth raised slightly, and black smoke began to crackle from the palm of his hand. Suddenly, at this moment, a listless voice came over. What are you three doing? Come back to the classroom as soon as you get here. Aizawa Shota looked at the three of them with a look of sleepiness on his face. Seeing Aizawa Shota, Bakugo Katsuki immediately put his hands back into his trouser pockets, turned around, and walked in. Aizawa Shota is following Bakugo Katsuki. Why did Shaosheng attack you suddenly? Midoriya Izuku asked curiously. I had a date with me yesterday, but I forgot about it. Su Yuan said with a smile. Hearing this, Midoriya Izuku suddenly understood, and finally understood why Bakugo Katsuki wanted to eat Su Yuan. No wonder, then be careful in the future, Shaosheng won't let it go like this. Midoriya Izuku said with a stiff face. Why panic, when I get interested one day, I'll give him a good beating and I'll be honest. Su Yuan said without taking it seriously. Midoriya Izuku smiled awkwardly and said, No, I said it wrong. This time Xiao Shang will hit a wall. Ha ha ha. Chapter 41 The class in the morning almost sent Su Yuan away, but he finally remembered the bell for the last class in the morning. His heavy eyelids were finally released. It's still the familiar hypnosis. Su Yuan yawned and rubbed his eyes. He thought that after coming to this world, that kind of thing would no longer exist, but what he didn't expect was that it would start again the next day. However, Su Yuan does not reject this kind of thing, but actually misses it a little. Before time travel, when he walked out of school, he never imagined that one day he would be able to return to campus. Although this was a campus in a superhuman society, it was still the same. The next time is lunchtime, where you can enjoy low price and first class cuisine in Shangying's canteen. After finishing his meal, Su Yuan sat at an empty table and ate alone. After a while, Midoriya Izuku also sat next to Su Yuan with a meal. This afternoon is going to be the hero's basics course that I'm looking forward to. Midoriya Izuku sat down, full of expectations. The one who is as boring as yesterday? Su Yuan asked. Of course not, what happened yesterday was just that the teacher wanted to see how much we had mastered our quirks. Midoriya Izuku explained. Oh, that's not bad. By the way, are you still practicing during this time? Midoriya Izuku asked. Ha, huh, Su Yuan said, turning to look at Izuku Midoriya next to him. Geniuses work so hard, Midoriya Izuku revealed a look of admiration. After the entrance test, Midoriya Izuku's training had ended. He also thought that Su Yuan would end the training as the test ended, just like him. However, it doesn't look like this now. In your eyes, is he a genius? Su Yuan smiled, but it was not what they said was a genius, ever since he traveled through time and came to this world. He spent almost half of his time practicing, and from the moment he possessed the Sha Sha fruit, he instantly gained powerful power. Midoriya Izuku works many times harder than others, but Su Yuan works many times harder than Midoriya Izuku. Of course, Midoriya Izuku said decisively. You should do your best too. Su Yuan replied in a sloppy manner without explaining too much to Izuku. In a blink of an eye, after the lunch break, the afternoon class finally started. Tap tap tap. There was a sound of heavy footsteps in the corridor outside the classroom. Immediately afterwards, there was a sudden, click, and All Might opened the door and entered. I'm here, I walked in through the door very normally. All Might had a smile on his face and made a strange posture inside the door. Most of the people in 1A became excited when they saw All Might. It's, it's All Might. 
That's amazing. It turns out that he is really a teacher at Shangying. That's dot the costume from the Silver Age of American comics. So handsome, all might. The painting style is so different. I even get goosebumps. Seeing All Might's exaggerated walking posture, he walked to the podium in slow motion, and looking at the costume he was wearing, Su Yuan also said something casually. I also. Dot got goosebumps. After All Might walked to the podium, he put his hands on his hips and said calmly, the course I am responsible for is Hero's Basics. This is a course that conducts various trainings to build the foundation of Hero's. Of course, it also has the most credits. And then, without further ado, that's it for today, combat training. Fight. As soon as Bakugo Katsuki heard these two words, he stood up excitedly, his smile gradually becoming wilder. The corner of his eye fell on Su Yuan. That's right. And then, there's this. Look here, everyone. All Might pointed to the wall of the classroom. Kakaka. Immediately after, on the wall, popped up battle uniforms marking the numbers. This is a battle uniform customized based on the quirks report you submitted before enrolling and your needs. But, Baekwon boy, why don't you condition quirks to report? All Might said while looking at Su Yuan. Su Yuan was stunned and explained, my quirks are a bit special. The battle suit cannot assist me. Customizing the battle suit at will will only make me uncomfortable. After hearing this, All Might was silent for a few seconds, feeling that what Su Yuan said was not unreasonable. Combat uniforms generally have some auxiliary function. If there is no auxiliary function, then the combat uniform has no other meaning. That's it. Okay, I understand. All Might replied, and as he spoke, he said to the others, By the way, you should quickly change into your combat uniforms and then gather in Playground B. Su Yuan didn't have a battle suit, so he put on a sports suit and followed All Might into the arena. After waiting for about 10 minutes, they walked out of the passage wearing all kinds of clothes. Then, Su Yuan laughed until her stomach hurt. Everyone in the class disliked Su Yuan. If he hadn't been so strong, he would have been beaten. Okay, okay, boy Baekwon, be polite to your classmates. All Might ordered. Su Yuan suppressed a smile and nodded, okay. Not bad, everyone is very handsome. When All Might said this, he didn't know if he was influenced by Su Yuan, but he almost laughed out loud. Then, everyone cast a speechless look at All Might. Ahem. All Might coughed dryly, and then continued, Is everyone here yet? Everyone looked at me, and I looked at you, and finally replied in unison, We should come. Before they finished speaking, Midoriya Izuku hurriedly ran out of the passage. Sorry, I'm late. Seeing Midoriya Izuku's battle uniform, Su Yuan couldn't hold back and laughed out loud again. Because this of his is more like a cuz costume than a battle suit. At this moment, All Might finally couldn't bear it anymore and quickly reached out to cover his mouth. Midoriya Izuku's costume design is so obvious, it is completely designed based on his own general appearance. It's so easy to understand. All Might calmed down, put his hands on his hips and said, Okay, stop talking, it's time for combat training. As soon as All Might finished speaking, Ieda raised his hand and asked, Teacher, are we going to conduct a simulated neighborhood drill? Hearing this, All Might grinned, stretched out two fingers, and said, No, this time the training will be taken to a higher level. Although the crusade against villains we see is mainly carried out outdoors, according to statistics, the probability of vicious villains appearing indoors is even higher. Imprisonment, house arrest, underground trading, in this society saturated with hero s etc., in short, the truly cunning villains are all lurking in the darkness. You will be divided into villains and hero s groups, and you will have a two-on-two -two indoor battle. Excuse me, what is the mechanism for determining victory and defeat? Yaoyorozu Momo asked. The mechanism for determining victory and defeat. All Might said, taking out the cheat sheet from his pocket, opening it, and continued reading. The scenario is that the villains has hidden a nuclear weapon somewhere in the stronghold, and the hero S has to move forward to eliminate this threat. Hero S need to catch the villains within the limited time, or successfully recover the nuclear weapon to win. The villains need to protect the nuclear weapons within a limited time, or capture the hero S which is the victory. All Might explained slowly. Thank you for your answer. Yaoyorozu Momo said. 
If we group them into groups, how should we distribute them? Ieda continued to ask. For grouping, use the method of drawing lots, because professional hero s often need to temporarily form a team with hero s from their agency. All Might said, turned around, and walked over with an iron box not far away. Then the drawing of lots began. Su Yuan opened the small piece of paper, with the letter C written inside. Then, when he was about to ask who got the letter C like him, Bakugo Katsuki directly pulled the person aside. Ha, are you with me? What do you see? Sorry, I'm D. What about you? Bakugo Katsuki continued to ask the person next to him. Me neither, mine is E. Su Yuan looked at the C on the note in his hand and frowned, because he knew that this time it was not two versus two, but one versus three. No need to look for it, Bakugo Katsuki, you and I are quite destined. While saying this, Su Yuan handed the note to Bakugo Katsuki. Bakugo Katsuki saw the C on the note. He was stunned for a moment, then turned to All Might and asked, Teacher, are there any rules? No, this time, complete freedom. All Might replied with a smile. Complete freedom. Bakugo Katsuki was really happy when he heard this. The corners of his mouth raised slightly, revealing a frightening smile. Su Yuan didn't care. After learning that Bakugo Katsuki drew C, he already knew that he was going to play one against three. Excuse me, who drew an A? Midoriya Izuku looked at the crowd and asked softly. I, I, I. Uraraka Ochako jumped up and down in the crowd, waving the piece of paper with a written on it in his hand. Have you already found your teammates? All Might asked softly. Everyone nodded. Okay, in that case, next, I will draw the people for the first round. All Might said, putting his hands into the iron boxes of different colors. The first round is. All Might made a swishing sound and held a ball in one hand, with A and C written on the inside of the ball. Group A will be the hero S and Group C will be the villains. The others will go to the monitoring room first. All Might said calmly. Yes, everyone nodded and left one after another, leaving only Su Yuan, Bakugo Katsuki, Uraraka Ochako, and Midoriya Izuku. Bakugo Katsuki froze on the spot because he was really surprised at this moment. Two people who wanted to beat him were arranged together. What kind of luck does it take to be worthy of this draw? Ha ha ha. Thinking, thinking, Bakugo Katsuki raised the corners of his mouth, looking excited. Then, the villains group will lurk first. Five minutes later, the hero S group will infiltrate and the battle will officially begin. All Might explained the rules. Clear, the four of them nodded at the same time. With that said, Bakugo Katsuki and Su Yuan went upstairs to prepare. At this time, All Might ordered, You must try your best to learn the thinking mode of villains. This is basically equivalent to actual combat. Don't be afraid of getting hurt, go forward boldly. But if you go too far, the battle will still be interrupted. Don't worry, teacher, Bakugo Katsuki said, looking at Su Yuan from the corner of his eye. But Su Yuan looked indifferent. After nodding, he continued to walk up the stairs. TCH, Bakugo Katsuki snorted and followed slowly. At the gate, Midoriya Izuku and Uraraka Ochako are waiting for five minutes. We can't win. Midoriya Izuku was silent for a long time and finally said. Ah, Uraraka Ochako was slightly startled, feeling a little confused. However, that's why it's interesting. If it's not a little challenging, then what's the point? Midoriya Izuku continued. Ha, huh, Uraraka Ochako became more and more confused. Looking at you, you seem to be familiar with them both. Uraraka Ochako asked. Well, I've known Bakugo Katsuki since I was a child. He is very powerful. There is also Kitagawa Suyuan. Although we have known each other for a short time, you also saw his strength during the physical test yesterday. He was absolutely crushing. Midoriya Izuku said slowly. It seems that we are a little unlucky. Uraraka Ochako said with a stiff face. And at this moment, backstage, a loud voice sounded. Teacher, come here and take a look. Ieda shouted. All Might was slightly confused, walked over quickly, and asked. What's wrong? Kitagawa Su Yuan and Bakugo Katsuki are fighting. Ieda said in a deep voice. Ah, All Might was also a little confused. Aren't the two of them teammates? Why did they start fighting? All Might had already arrived in front of the screen as he spoke. 
I don't know. We only saw that they had just arrived at the simulated nuclear weapon. After saying a few words, they started fighting. Ida truthfully reported the previous situation to All Might. Looking at Su Yuan and Bakugo Katsuki on the screen, All Might is now wondering whether to interrupt the battle. However, strictly speaking, Bakugo Katsuki's internal fighting this time made All Might suddenly realize something. Let them continue fighting. After dozens of seconds of silence, All Might said. Why, everyone looked confused, wondering what All Might had in mind. Teacher, if this is the case, wouldn't Team Hero S get a big bargain? Ida said curiously. Maybe, is this a trap? Yaoyorozu Momo on the side analyzed. Trap, everyone was startled, and then they seemed to have thought of something. If Bakugo Katsuki and Kitagawa Su Yuan are fighting among themselves, are they trying to make Midoriya Izuku and the others relax their vigilance? Iida continued to analyze. It makes sense. This group of villains is really scary. Not only are they powerful, but they are also very clever in their strategies. I'm really worried about the Hero's team. The villain's team is absolutely suppressed. Jiro Kiyoka muttered. It's getting more and more exciting. I really want to know how the Hero's team will deal with this villain's team. Iida said in a deep voice. It's so scary. Fortunately, I didn't meet such an opponent. I was really afraid that I would be tricked to death by them. Minoru Mineta took a breath of air. It's perfect. Reality is full of all kinds of accidents. This is a rare opportunity for the Green Valley boy. Villain's trap, or real internal fighting, it depends on how you deal with it. All Might muttered. Call, Bakugo Katsuki punched Su Yuan. Su Yuan raised his hand slightly, and a shield of sand suddenly appeared in front of him. There was a, pop, sound. Bakugo Katsuki's hands sank directly into the sand wall, and immediately after, black smoke suddenly emerged from the sand. Seeing this scene, he frowned, and a few drops of sweat ran down his cheeks. The next moment, he immediately retracted his hands and jumped back. There was a little drama between him and Su Yuan. Does Juju own quirks? After landing smoothly, Bakugo Katsuki asked Su Yuan. Su Yuan smiled. This question is clearer to you than to me. TCH, you, how dare you lie to me for so long? After I deal with you, I will go over and deal with him. Bakugo Katsuki said coldly. In that case, you should have no chance. Su Yuan said calmly. Really, Bakugo Katsuki looked confident. Sparks burst out from the palm of his hand. The next second, he stepped forward and ran wildly, and the sparks in his palms became even more intense. However, Su Yuan still stood there, motionless, which made Bakugo Katsuki think that he had some plan. However, at this moment, he didn't care so much and hit Su Yuan with both hands. In the palm of his hand, something seemed to be ignited instantly, and a ball of flame rushed directly towards Su Yuan. Boom, did you hit it? Bakugo Katsuki muttered in surprise. As the smoke and dust dissipated, what Bakugo Katsuki saw next made his veins erect. The hit was a hit, but all his attacks were blocked by Su Yuan's sand shield. I was shocked. Did you think you failed? Su Yuan muttered to himself. Bakugo Katsuki frowned. When did this sand appear? He knew very well that his hand was less than one meter away from Su Yuan at that time, and the moment he released quirks, Bakugo Katsuki didn't even see a wall of sand in front of Su Yuan. So the question is, when did the sand shield appear? Could it be that the speed prevented him from catching it? At this point, Bakugo Katsuki can't figure it out, so he can only continue to test. The next moment, he rushed towards Su Yuan, jumped up, and swept over with one leg. Su Yuan still stood where he was. With a pop sound, Bakugo Katsuki kicked the sand shield. It happened again. Bakugo Katsuki's face was a little stiff. He did somersaults in the air, and kicked towards the other side of the defenseless body. However, when he was still half a meter away from Su Yuan, the sand shield blocking the front suddenly expanded, forming a circle with a 360-degree defense without blind spots. There was another, pop, sound. Bakugo Katsuki's foot once again kicked the sand shield. The next moment, he was afraid that the maracas would suddenly explode, so he immediately stepped back a certain distance. At this time, backstage, the battle between Bakugo Katsuki and Su Yuan was watched by all of them. 
Bakugo Katsuki has always had the upper hand. Baekwon Su Yuan is so powerful. Facing Bakugo's upgraded attack, he simply ignored it. Look at Bakugo Katsuki, he's so aggressive. A heavy strike is effective. Look at Kitagawa Su Yuan's defense, Bakugo Katsuki has no way to deal with it. As expected of All Might's apprentice. He's really awesome. I guess his strength ranks first among the freshmen. This, All Might felt slightly embarrassed when he heard the word apprentice. After all, this was just an excuse for himself at the time, and Su Yuan never responded. However, in his heart, of course, he thought that Su Yuan could treat him like a master. He's quite capable. Bakugo Katsuki looked at Su Yuan and sneered. With your current strength, you can't break through my absolute defense. Su Yuan said in a deep voice. The absolute defense of Su Yuan's sand shield is not controlled by his own thoughts, but a completely spontaneous move, which means it is an automatic defense. Moreover, this sand shield will grow as Su Yuan grows. In other words, when Su Yuan's strength increases, the degree of defense of this sand shield will also increase. Now, in Su Yuan's eyes, Bakugo Katsuki's strength is really too weak, let alone the fact that he can break this automatic defense sand shield. Perhaps, now, he can't even beat Midoriya Izuku. After all, Bakugo Katsuki has always lived a comfortable life. Although Izuku Midoriya didn't work as hard as Su Yuan, he at least had the guidance of All Might and often fought with Su Yuan before. Whether it is experience or experience, he is richer than Bakugo Katsuki. Ah, let's see if I don't blow up all your sand. Bakugo Katsuki yelled. It's useless, you can't break my defense at all. Su Yuan said calmly. Then try it. Bakugo Katsuki roared angrily, and then quickly ran towards Su Yuan. Bang bang bang. Bang bang bang. Boom boom boom. Undoubtedly, every attack by Bakugo Katsuki was blocked by Su Yuan's sand shield. After arguing for a long time, he didn't even touch Su Yuan's body. And at this moment, in front of their battle gate, Midoriya, Izuku and Uraraka Ochako were a little confused. What are they, what are they doing? Uraraka Ochako asked. Midoriya Izuku shook his head and said, I don't know either, but judging from their looks, I think Shaosheng wants to take this opportunity to compete with Su Yuan. Sparring, what about our training? Uraraka Ochako asked doubtfully. Hearing this, Midoriya Izuku began to ponder, and then said in a deep voice, their sparring should not have just begun. If All Might did not end the fight, it means that he has acquiesced in Shaosheng and Su Yuan's actions. And our goal is still to recover nuclear weapons. Uraraka Ochako nodded. Asshole, you really piss me off. While speaking, Bakugo Katsuki pointed his finger at Su Yuan and continued. You should also know that my explosion relies on the principle of secreting a nitroglycerin-like substance from the sweat glands in the palm of my hand and causing it to explode. Click, said. Bakugo Katsuki turned on the button of the battle suit in his hand. If this battle suit is based on my design, then this gauntlet can store them inside. While saying this, Bakugo Katsuki smiled ferociously while pulling down the button of the gauntlet. Next, let's see if you can resist this so-called automatic defense. Bakugo Katsuki shouted. Immediately afterwards, a golden light bloomed on his gauntlet, and the next moment, a huge ball of flames rushed directly towards Su Yuan. Next to Su Yuan, the sand shield appeared again, forming a spherical shape, defending 360 degrees without blind spots. The golden light lit up the entire room. Immediately afterwards, the entire building shook violently. A big hole has been blown into the wall behind Su Yuan. Thick black smoke filled the surroundings. Monitoring room. All Might held the microphone in his hand, his expression a little stiff. Teacher, Bakugo Katsuki, this is too messy. Iida said in a deep voice. Is Baekwon Su Yuan okay? Yaoyorozu Momo said slightly worried. In fact, at that moment, All Might originally wanted to end the fight, but when he hesitated, Bakugo Katsuki had already released his move. Don't worry, nothing will happen, All Might said calmly. What happened? Uraraka Ochako, who was hiding at the gate, asked in horror. Their fighting seems to be getting more and more intense. Midoriya Izuku said in a deep voice. What should we do? Uraraka Ochako asked. After Izuku was silent for a few seconds, he slowly said the words, now is a good opportunity for us. 
Taking advantage of this black smoke, we can secretly recover nuclear weapons. Uraraka Ochako nodded, agreeing with Midoriya Izuku's approach. Amid the thick smoke and dust, Bakugo Katsuki slowly moved forward. How is it? Can your so-called absolute defense be able to withstand it? Bakugo Katsuki asked with a sneer. What do you think? A reply came from the smoke. Hearing this, Bakugo Katsuki's face changed drastically, feeling a little unbelievable. By the way, there are also those two sneaky people in the corner. I found you too, Su Yuan said calmly. Then he stretched out his hand and shook it. Suddenly, a stream of air blew away the smoke and dust in the room. And Midoriya Izuku and Uraraka Ochako appeared in Bakugo Katsuki's sight. Being discovered, Midoriya Izuku frowned. Bakugo, ha, huh, you're here so soon. Bakugo Katsuki clenched his fists tightly. Then, Bakugo Katsuki, what do you want to do, continue the duel, or protect the nuclear weapons together? Su Yuan asked. Nuclear weapons, Bakugo Katsuki muttered and couldn't help but laugh. To him, nuclear weapons of any kind were unimportant. His current goal is to beat up Su Yuan and Midoriya Izuku. But now Midoriya Izuku has appeared, which means that he can only choose one. Midoriya Izuku didn't make him so angry. As for Su Yuan, Bakugo Katsuki felt that his lungs were going to explode from him. So, he finally decided to target Su Yuan. Of course we want to continue our unfinished duel. Bakugo Katsuki said solemnly. Okay, let's take this opportunity to beat you to the truth. Su Yuan said with a smile. A person who can only talk is of no use. Bakugo Katsuki sneered. Su Yuan's smile gradually disappeared, and his eyes gradually became sharp. If I am serious, it means it is over. Really, Bakugo Katsuki also became excited. At this moment, who is on horseback to deal with nuclear weapons? We seem to be ignored, Uraraka Ochako said hesitantly. It seems, yes, Midoriya Izuku replied. Then, should we take any action? Uraraka Ochako asked. They are now less than 10 meters away from the nuclear weapon, but at this distance of 10 meters, Suyuan and Bakugo Katsuki are blocking the front. There was smoke just now, and Suyuan could have spotted us, let alone now that there is no smoke. However, under this situation, a small victory can give us a small success rate. Midoriya Izuku analyzed. Looking at you, is Baekwon Su Yuan really that powerful? Someone has obviously held him back. Normally, as long as we encounter nuclear weapons, we will win. Uraraka Ochako was a little confused. She even felt that Midoriya Izuku exaggerated him. However, only Izuku Midoriya knows whether it is an exaggeration or not. You don't understand, Midoriya Izuku replied solemnly. Among the heroes, the only ones who knew him a little bit were himself and All Might. Having fought with Su Yuan for so long before, no matter whether he used quirks or physical combat, he could not last more than 10 seconds. Don't get me wrong, I just feel that we are being too cautious. Uraraka Ochako explained. Listen to me, otherwise, we have no chance of winning. I suspect that when Baekwon Su Yuan knew that he was in a group with Xiao Shang, he already knew that he was going to face 1 vs 3. So, I think that while he was fighting Bakugo Katsuki, half of his attention was on nuclear weapons. Midoriya Izuku expressed his theory. Uraraka Ochako had nothing to say and nodded, following Midoriya Izuku's instructions. Get ready, Su Yuan grinned. Bakugo Katsuki said excitedly, come here. Just as he finished speaking, Su Yuan came to him with a whoosh. Before Bakugo Katsuki could react, Su Yuan swept over with a kick. So fast, Bakugo Katsuki said with wide eyes. This kick, Su Yuan covered armament hockey. He subconsciously stretched out his hand to block it. Click, the wrist guard in his hand split open. Immediately afterwards, it hit the side directly. There was a boom, hitting the wall directly. The wall collapsed, and Bakugo Katsuki almost fell. He reached out and grabbed the solid concrete wall, followed by a lifelong leap, and jumped up. Immediately, he wiped the blood flowing from the corner of his mouth. Asshole. As soon as Bakugo Katsuki finished his roar, he realized that Su Yuan was not in front of him at all. Immediately afterwards, his back felt cold for some reason. 
Suddenly, at this moment, a voice came from behind Bakugo Katsuki. Too slow. Bakugo Katsuki was about to make a countermeasure, but unexpectedly, Suyuan took one of his arms and threw it in the direction of Midoriya Izuku. Midoriya Izuku subconsciously reached out to catch Bakugo Katsuki. Even though we were fighting among ourselves and All Might didn't end, that proves that he acquiesced. If this is the case, Bakugo Katsuki is given to you. Su Yuan looked indifferent. Ha, huh, Midoriya Izuku and Uraraka Ochako looked confused. Bakugo Katsuki immediately got up angrily. What do you think of me? Throw the ball away. That should be okay. All Might, Su Yuan said calmly. After Su Yuan finished speaking, a voice sounded from the radio. Yes, yes, but it's unfair to you. All Might replied. It doesn't matter, even if Bakugo Katsuki can't go there, it's just a name hanging here. That's right, Bakugo Katsuki, Su Yuan said, looking at Bakugo Katsuki from the corner of his eye. All Might hesitated for a while, and what Su Yuan said made sense. Bakugo Katsuki was just a name in the group with him. The real situation is that either you die or I die. Okay. Then Bakugo Katsuki is now part of the Hero S team. All Might said slowly. Cut. Bakugo Katsuki gritted his teeth, and since All Might said this, he had no choice but to accept it reluctantly. Kachan, I'll drag Uraraka Ochako with you to recover the nuclear weapons. Midoriya Izuku said. Bakugo Katsuki immediately became upset and retorted. You are not allowed to order me. You are so stupid. Xiao Shang. Su Yuan is not as simple as you think. Even you and me will not be his opponent now. Midoriya Izuku said slowly. Bakugo Katsuki frowned. He knew since just now that he was no match for Su Yuan. The reason why I still persist in my obsession is mostly because of my own unwillingness. Zizizi. He clenched his fist tightly. At this time, Su Yuan had already walked in front of the simulated nuclear weapon, leaned against it, and said slowly, what do you think, three of them together, or one by one? Bakugo Katsuki glanced at Su Yuan with a strange look, and then quickly rushed towards Su Yuan. Midoriya Izuku, on the other hand, followed behind. Drink. Bakugo Katsuki quickly pulled off the equipment of the good gauntlet. Click. With a sound, golden light once again lit up the entire room. However, although the moves are somewhat cool, they still cannot escape the fate of not being able to penetrate the sand shield. At this time, Midoriya Izuku quickly jumped to the side of Su Yuan and attacked. Su Yuan was stunned for a moment and quickly dodged. In order to prevent Su Yuan from coming back, Green Valley Izuku followed closely. Good opportunity, Midoriya Izuku shouted, "New!" No. Seeing Su Yuan a little distance away from the nuclear weapon, Uraraka Ochako seemed to have found an opportunity and hurried towards the nuclear weapon. What a group of innocent children. Su Yuan dodged with a smile on his lips. Just when Uraraka Ochako was about to touch the nuclear weapon, the ground suddenly began to vibrate at a distance. Uraraka Ochako was stunned, looked around, and no longer cared about it, he quickly reached out and touched the nuclear weapon. As long as you touch it, it means that this test is over. However, just when Uraraka Ochako's hand was about 10 centimeters away from the nuclear weapon. Boom, a palm made of sand pushed up the nuclear weapon, directly piercing the ceiling and continuing to rise. This, Uraraka Ochako was a little confused when she saw this scene. However, she quickly reacted and murmured, it seems that it is just as Midoriya-kun said, it won't be that simple. With the vibration, the cement began to slowly turn into sand, and then attached to the hand made of sand. What? How can it be like this? Bakugo Katsuki looked at the cement under his feet, slowly turning into sand, and beads of sweat appeared on his face. Midoriya Izuku was a little anxious at this moment and quickly started thinking of countermeasures. Suddenly an idea flashed through his mind, and he quickly counted towards Uraraka Ochako. Use your quirks on us. Uraraka Ochako was startled, and quickly understood what Midoriya Izuku meant, and ran over. Against Bakugo Katsuki, and Midoriya Izuku, including using zero gravity himself. Just as he used weightlessness on himself, with the rustling sound, the whole building turned into sand and joined the hand made of sand. And at this moment, behind the surveillance, in dozens of screens, the same three words, 
no signal, appeared undoubtedly in the middle column. All Might's face was a little stiff, and he quickly started to switch the surrounding surveillance cameras. Then, the location of the previous building appeared in their sight. This, this is too awesome. Every dot one building turned into sand, this quirks is too powerful. How on earth did he do it? 1 vs 3, no disadvantage at all. This is probably the strongest freshman in the history of heroes. However, he was right, Su Yuan's current strength was really the strongest freshman in the history of Shangying. Can the test still be played like this? But then again, is this a foul? What was originally a good indoor test has now become an outdoor test. Yaoyorozu Momo asked All Might with some confusion. Yeah, look at that nuclear weapon. It's lifted so high. The hero's group can't fly, so it's a bit difficult to recover it. Jiro Kiyoka continued. This is a perfect test, a perfect demonstration of various accidents in reality. All Might said, becoming a little excited. Ah, everyone was stunned, but looked at All Might curiously. It turns out that the surveillance system is broken. So, all members, go to the training venue. All Might shouted. Everyone nodded and rushed towards the training venue. Exercise venue. At this time, the thick smoke and dust had not dissipated around the hands made of sand. At this time, Bakugo Katsuki and the three of them had landed smoothly on the ground. That thing is up there. If you want to win, you can only go up and retrieve it. Su Yuan said calmly. The three of them heard the news and left. Did you commit a foul? Bakugo Katsuki yelled. As long as All Might doesn't say anything, it means he acquiesces to my approach. Su Yuan replied. But, you took away all the monitoring equipment. Even if All Might wants to say something, you can't hear it. Midoriya Izuku said slowly. Su Yuan was slightly startled, it seemed that this was indeed the case. However, at this moment, on top of another tall building, All Might put his hands on his hips and said with a big smile, the game continues. The reality is like this, full of all kinds of surprises. And Hero S have to use various methods to solve these accidents. Come on, everyone. After hearing All Might's words, Midoriya Izuku began to think deeply, his eyes fixed on the simulated nuclear weapon on the palm of his hand made of sand. What should we do? Dot how can we recover nuclear weapons? This thought kept flashing through his mind. Suddenly, at this moment, the cry of Uraraka Ochako rang out. Midoriya Kun, he's here. When Midoriya Izuku heard this, he came to his senses instantly, but to his surprise, Suyuan had already swept over with a kick. Even if he uses his fastest speed now, he can't dodge this blow. Crack. The result was obvious, Midoriya Izuku was kicked away directly. Then it hit another building hard. Dara, Dara. Midoriya Izuku frowned and pushed away the cement block pressing on his body, and said in a deep voice, it hurts so much. Phew. At this moment, he felt something flying over from the sky, and he was so frightened that he immediately dodged. Immediately afterwards, there was a bang. In an instant, dust and mist arose again. Ahem. Bakugo Katsuki coughed a few times, slowly got up and walked out of the dust mist, looking very embarrassed. What a coincidence. Shaoshang, you were kicked over by him too. Midoriya Izuku asked with an awkward smile. Shut up. Bakugo Katsuki is now so angry that the veins on his forehead are about to pop out. However, compared to him being kicked over, Bakugo Katsuki was better. He was thrown over by Su Yuan. It's too powerful. Bakugo and the others have no chance of winning at all. Yes, the three of them were still beaten easily by Baekwon Su Yuan. It seems that the results have already come out at the beginning. Yaoyorozu Momo muttered. All Might, on the other hand, said nothing and stood with his hands on his hips observing every move of Su Yuan and the others. Behind All Might, a pair of deep eyes were looking at his back. That, is the apprentice of the man in front of me. At this time, Uraraka Ochako took advantage of Bakugo Katsuki and Midoriya Izuku to hold Su Yuan back, and he was quickly climbing up towards the simulated nuclear weapon. It's a pity that the reality is cruel, and Uraraka Ochako has not yet climbed to the top. The giant hand formed by the sand she was crawling on began to collapse. What's going on? Uraraka Ochako was startled, and quickly used her quirks, gravityless. Otherwise, she would probably be pressed to the ground by the sand. 
She slowly fell and reached a certain distance. She clasped her hands together and said, release. As soon as she finished speaking, she also landed next to Midoriya Izuku. Now, she can finally understand why Izuku Midoriya said he had no chance of winning even before he started training. His strength is not exaggerated, but it's really so scary. Three people don't seem to pose any threat to him. Uraraka Ochako broke the tranquility. He uses his quirks so well that he can't find any weaknesses in his body. Midoriya Izuku said solemnly. Hearing what Midoriya Izuku said, Bakugo Katsuki remembered the time when he just fought with Su Yuan. No, that guy doesn't just use quirks very well, he also uses his own power surprisingly well. Bakugo Katsuki said slowly. Bakugo Katsuki suddenly spoke so normally, Midoriya Izuku was a little shocked. Su Yuan stood opposite them, looking a little helpless. Now, he wanted to test his limits. It's a pity that the three of them can't try, and there's no point in continuing to fight. Just when Su Yuan was about to end this battle training, Bakugo Katsuki suddenly spoke. I give up, Bakugo Katsuki said depressingly. Ah. On the side, Midoriya Izuku and Uraraka Ochako looked at Bakugo Katsuki with confused expressions. After all, it was too unexpected to suddenly admit defeat. Don't you guys understand? There's a huge gap in strength between us and him. There's no hope at all. Not at all. Do you understand, Shuju? Bakugo Katsuki's voice rose a lot as he spoke. In fact, even if Bakugo Katsuki didn't say it, they knew that in this game, even though there were three of them, there was still no hope. I know. I also admit defeat, Midoriya Izuku said solemnly. Me. Me too, Uraraka Ochako continued. The words fell. In the sky, a figure fell in front of them. Young Baekwon boy, you are good, your strength is very stable. All Might first praised Su Yuan. Immediately afterwards, he said to Bakugo Katsuki and the others, You are not bad, you know that you can't beat me, so you don't force yourself. Remember, when you go out into society in the future, you will become an excellent professional hero s. No matter how strong the opponent is, you must not attack blindly, but act thoughtfully. I want to say this not only to Bakugo boy, but also to you. While speaking, All Might pointed to other students in another building. Withdrawing his hand, All Might said to Su Yuan, the winner of the first round is the Baekwon boy from the villains group. In addition, as for the hero S group, although they failed, it's okay. Go back and do well. Summarize. Then let's change places and start the second battle training. Also, remember, don't have too many surprises like the first game. All Might said slowly. Yes, everyone responded. Then he brought two new iron boxes and drew lots. Time passed quickly, and in a blink of an eye, all combat training came to an end. In this combat training, Baekwon Su Yuan was undoubtedly the biggest focus. In the following game, Shoto Todoroki immediately emerged from the doubt and became the second focus of the game. However, Shoto Todoroki is different from Su Yuan. He is one of the four recommended students of Shangying and can enroll directly without taking the exam. His actions this time also proved that the strength of the recommended students is not guaranteed. Kitagawa Su Yuan, Shoto Todoroki, Midoriya Izuku, Bakugo Katsuki, Tokiami Fumikage, during this battle training, these five students are undoubtedly the most outstanding. The strength of two students has even exceeded All Might's expectations. But Bakugo Katsuki's face was not so good-looking, after he saw Shoto Todoroki's strength. The whole person's mood changed. It also made him suddenly realize. Heroes, not only Su Yuan is powerful, Shoto Todoroki's display of strength made Bakugo Katsuki subconsciously realize that he might not even be able to defeat Shoto Todoroki. His current mood can be said to be completely blank. At midfield, All Might temporarily replaced Aizawa Shota due to his own transformation. The rest of the time is all handled by Aizawa Shota. After everyone in Class 1A gathered, Aizawa Shota said calmly. Okay, everyone worked hard today. Fortunately, this time, everyone suffered only minor injuries. Based on the first training, everyone did very well. However, there are good things and bad things. I heard All Might say, Baekwon Su Yuan, you demolished a whole building, right? Aizawa Shota said, casting his peripheral vision on Su Yuan. Su Yuan was stunned for a moment, 
and answered truthfully, it's not really demolition, it's just using your own quirks to turn the building into sand. Aizawa Shota rolled his eyes at Su Yuan, his words sounded like he was bragging about the power of his quirks. Let's not talk about quirks. Turning a whole building into sand is too exaggerated. Besides, if there's nothing else to say, after you change your clothes, go back to the classroom. Aizawa Shota finished speaking weakly, ignoring whether they had any other questions, put his hands in his trouser pockets, and walked back slowly. He kept shouting, All Might didn't watch the time. As soon as Aizawa Shota left, the group of people surrounded Su Yuan and Shoto Todoroki. Your Mrs. Quirks, is so cool. Kitagawa Su Yuan, reintroduce yourself, my name is Kirishima Ajiro. Kirishima Ajiro said, patting his chest. Su Yuan smiled awkwardly, to be honest, it is a bit difficult to remember names like theirs in a short time. I don't need an introduction. Su Yuan replied. No need. Hiroshima Ajiro replied with a generous smile. How awesome is that, you can still have the upper hand against three opponents. Ashido Mina also cast an envious look at Su Yuan. You must be practicing very hard in private. You can use your quirks like this. Ieda praised. Shoto Todoroki and Su Yuan's experiences were similar. They both faced various compliments. As for Bakugo Katsuki, when Aizawa Shoto returned, he walked to the changing room by himself. Midoriya Izuku followed him. Kachan, are you okay? Midoriya Izuku asked. Hearing this, Bakugo Katsuki stopped walking and turned around slowly, but his face was expressionless. In the past, he would have been furious, but now, his mood can be said to be very low. After a few seconds of silence, Bakugo Katsuki said, you have quirks, right? This, I, isn't it? As soon as Bakugo Katsuki said this, he didn't know how to answer. Asshole, you've been hiding this from me, haven't you? How dare you fool me like this, you nerd. Bakugo Katsuki had veins on his forehead, looking like he wanted to tear Izuku Midoriya apart. No, Shaoshang, listen to me, this quirks of mine was given to me by someone else, but who gave it to me, I absolutely cannot say. Midoriya Izuku said slowly. How long do you want to fool me? Bakugo Katsuki said his tone obviously much louder, and his mood swings began to increase. Kachan, what I said is true. Midoriya Izuku said solemnly. So, you came here just to tell me this. Bakugo Katsuki said calmly. Yes, Midoriya Izuku replied. What's your relationship with the one using sand? Bakugo Katsuki continued to ask. Ah, Midoriya Izuku was slightly startled and said truthfully, we haven't known each other for a long time. He often assisted me in training when there was no entrance test. So, your improvement in strength has a lot to do with him. Hearing this, Green Valley Izuku nodded, if it were not for Su Yuan's appearance. All Might will follow the original work and pass on one for all to Midoriya Izuku until the day of the entrance test. Bakugo Katsuki didn't say anything, turned around, and moved on. Although he suffered a little setback today, few people can match Bakugo Katsuki's self-esteem. He knew that with his current strength, he would definitely not be able to defeat Su Yuan and Shoto Todoroki. In other words, he is no match for Izuku Midoriya, who he often bullied in the past. Classroom, the last lesson. Besides, before school ends, let me tell you something here. As the words fell, Aizawa Shota crawled out of the sleeping bag and said slowly while arranging the sleeping bag. When I go back today, no matter if I have something to do or not, it's best to stay at home, and those who live over there at Fashion Square should try their best not to walk on the laughing road. What happened, teacher? Yaoyorozu Momo asked curiously. It's not like there's another villains over there. Minoru Mineta couldn't help but shudder as he thought about it. Aizawa Shota nodded. You were really right. There was a criminal gang in the Fashion Square today, and there were a lot of people. So, Try not to go there until you are sure that the danger has been eliminated. Okay, teacher, it's so scary. My home is nearby, Minoru Mineta said, his face turned pale. Fashion Plaza, Su Yuan frowned when he heard this. Miyagawa Kamamoto's office is not far from Fashion Square. Where did the criminal gang appear? Did they not take this office seriously at all? Or some other element? Is it possible? Is it the wanted criminal named Shikun last time? Su Yuan muttered, 
but he quickly denied it because it was unlikely. The last thing I want to say is, everyone, be careful. Aizawa Shota said listlessly, holding the sleeping bag in his hand, and walked out of the classroom door. Not long after he walked out, Aizawa Shota turned around again. By the way, Baekwon Su Yuan, All Might wants to see you for something, please come over. Su Yuan nodded, packed up his things, and walked towards the office. At this moment, at the gate of Shangdiang School, two unshaven men were waiting for someone. After they saw Bakugo Katsuki walking out with his pants in his pockets, they hurried forward and asked. Hello classmate, do you know Bakugo Katsuki? Ishimura said softly. Bakugo Katsuki looked at the two people in front of him with a sullen expression. Who are you? Oh, I'm Bakugo Katsuki's uncle. Ishimura replied. I am his second uncle. Another man added. Bakugo Katsuki. As the Bakugo Katsuki you are talking about the one who just joined the heroic freshman. Bakugo Katsuki asked calmly. Yes, yes, it looks like you know him. Ishimura said with a smile. Bakugo Katsuki was slightly startled, knowing that the Bakugo Katsuki they were talking about was undoubtedly him, but when did he have these two uncles? Moreover, judging from their appearance, they seemed to be acting under orders. They only knew their names but not what they looked like. After a moment of silence, he did not expose him immediately, but said, We know him, why are you looking for him? Oh, something happened at home, and I have to take him back. Ishimura explained. Bakugo Katsuki was silent for a while, and then said, Oh, wait here for a moment, he seems to be dealing with something inside. Please wait here for a moment, I will go in and talk to him. Ishimura rolled his eyes and said, Thank you, little brother. Bakugo Katsuki nodded, turned around and walked inside. Ishimura and the others returned to their original places, leaning against the wall. We didn't leak any flaws, did we? Ishimura asked the other man. No, no, the acting is very good. If I believe it, let alone a newborn calf, they are very innocent. Another man replied. It's better to be vigilant. I almost died in his hands because I underestimated the enemy last time. Ishimura swallowed hard as he recalled the scene when he was almost killed. Don't worry, I've already checked before coming here to see how many teachers there are in Shangli. Counting those who have gone out, there are no more than five teachers inside. As soon as that brat brings Bakugo Katsuki out, I'll use my quirks on him right away. Then take him away. Later, even if Shangdiang's teachers find out, they won't be able to catch up with us. Ishimura nodded. Yes. At this time, Bakugo Katsuki was rushing to the teacher's office. However, the result was not as good as expected, because there was not a single teacher in the teacher's office. Where did this important moment go? Bakugo Katsuki cursed, turned around and ran towards the class. I want to try my luck and see if I can encounter some teachers still in the class. As a result, the teacher did not bump into them, but instead bumped into Su Yuan and Midoriya Izuku who had just finished using the toilet. Kachan, what's wrong with you looking so panicked? Midoriya Izuku asked in confusion. Have you seen All Might? Bakugo Katsuki said breathlessly. Su Yuan shook his head and said, I still want to ask you. Teacher Aizawa Shota said that All Might had something to do with me, but when he went to the office, he didn't even see a single person. What about Aizawa Shota sensei? Bakugo Katsuki continued to ask. Just left, Midoriya Izuku replied. Bakugo Katsuki's face darkened, his luck was really so bad. Looking at you, has something happened? Su Yuan asked calmly. Bakugo Katsuki was silent for a while, and finally decided to speak out. After all, they were here for him. In the absence of a teacher, the only one with the highest strength here is Su Yuan. Maybe he can still find a way to solve it. There seems to be a person with evil intentions at the school gate. I suspect he is a criminal. Bakugo Katsuki said in a deep voice. Criminals, this is too bold, this is a hero. Midoriya Izuku said slightly in disbelief. It's just a suspicion, it has not been confirmed. If you call the teacher, it will only cause trouble. Su Yuan said slowly. Kachan, I feel the same, this is Yue, the number one school in the country. Midoriya Izuku said. They came to see me. They said they were my uncle, but they didn't know me. Are they criminals? Bakugo Katsuki frowned and said. 
Su Yuan and Midoriya Izuku fell silent. After a few seconds, they said in unison, then you added the word suspicion. Speaking of this, Su Yuan suddenly remembered the name Shikyun. After all, Su Yuan left his name behind during the battle. However, thinking about it, it was impossible. After all, his photos had been circulated on the internet before. Logically speaking, he should have discovered that he had deceived him. Do you think it might be related to the criminal gang at the fashion plaza that Mr. Aizawa Shota mentioned? Midoriya Izuku guessed. Who knows? Bakugo Katsuki replied. Let me go over and take a look. Su Yuan said softly. Midoriya Izuku. But, so dangerous. The heroic gate is equipped with security defenses. Once someone without a student ID or pass permit ID passes through the gate, the security defenses will be activated. Even if they have any purpose, they wouldn't dare to break in like this. Su Yuan said slowly. Then I'll follow you. Juju continues to find the teacher. I just told that guy that I'm going to call Bakugo Katsuki over. Then, you will play me now. But, for the sake of safety, let's not step out of the school. Bakugo Katsuki replied. Su Yuan thought about it carefully and finally nodded, but for some reason, he always had a bad feeling in his heart. That feeling is indescribable. If this is the case, then you two should be careful. For the sake of safety, you must not confront them head on. Midoriya Izuku ordered, then quickly turned around and ran towards the classroom office. Juju, I just came out of the office. There is no teacher in there. Go to the class and look for it. Bakugo Katsuki ordered from behind. Oh, Midoriya Izuku said without looking back. Of course, the reason why Su Yuan said he wanted to go there and have a look this time was actually very simple, just because he was on the way. If there was nothing unusual about those two people when he came out of the school gate, he would go home directly. At this time, Shangying school gate. Looking around, all the students in Shangli were already walking away. It's been so long and he still hasn't come. Could he have noticed something? The man said worriedly. Ishimura said nothing. Of course, it was not impossible that the man was worried. Just when Ishimura was about to say retreat, Bakugo Katsuki came out with Su Yuan. Look, Ishimura, that brat seems to have brought someone out. The man suddenly said. Shi Kun's eyes widened. Although the distance was a bit far away, he still recognized Su Yuan at a glance, the man who almost killed him. When he thought of this, his anger couldn't help but rise. Yes, it's him. Bakugo Katsuki, Ishimura said coldly. Of course, at this time, the two of them also appeared in Su Yuan's sight. However, Ishimura and the others were disguised, and it had been nearly a year since the last time. Naturally, Su Yuan doesn't remember much either. As the distance enough, Ishimura whispered to the man next to him. That's enough, the man whispered back. Bakugo Katsuki, do you still remember me? Suddenly at this moment, Ishimura shouted. Bakugo Katsuki was startled and said subconsciously, Who the hell are you? I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to Bakugo Katsuki. Ishimura retorted, Of course, his peripheral vision was on Su Yuan. Ha, huh, Bakugo Katsuki, are you kidding me? Bakugo Katsuki was so angry that Ishimura's veins erected. Wanted criminal, Shikun, right? Su Yuan said expressionlessly. Hearing this, Shikun couldn't help but smile when he heard that Su Yuan still remembered him. What, do you want to come here and kill me? However, this is a hero here, aren't you worried that you will never come back? Su Yuan said calmly. Of course I have considered it. So, didn't I bring someone with me? Do it. A smile appeared on the corner of Ishimura's mouth. Be careful. Su Yuan instantly became alert. Bakugo Katsuki nodded. And at this time, the man was seen with his hands clasped together and looking at Su Yuan and the others. Replace. As soon as he finished speaking, Su Yuan, Bakugo Katsuki, and Ishimura disappeared instantly, and immediately after, three ordinary citizens suddenly appeared at the place where the three of them were standing before. However, all three of them were tied up with ropes. What? What's going on? Why did I suddenly come here? This is Shangying School. Who brought us here? We're saved, we're saved. After completing the transfer, the man gasped for air, then turned around and slowly left here. And his quirks is, replacement. First, you have to mark the thing to be replaced, 
then find the target to be replaced, and then use quirks to transfer it. Of course, his quirks can not only replace creatures, but he can also replace some of the moves released by quirks. Correspondingly, his quirks cannot be used on himself, and each replacement requires considerable physical effort. At this moment, Su Yuan, Bakugo Katsuki and Ishimura have been transferred to a grassland. There is no one living in this grassland for several kilometers. He he he, ha 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 ha, suddenly, Ishimura began to laugh ferociously. Asshole, what is this place? What are you doing by bringing us here? Bakugo Katsuki shouted angrily. Boy, I, Ishimura, will not involve unrelated people. You called out Bakugo Katsuki for me. I, Ishimura, thank you. So, after I kill Bakugo Katsuki, you can naturally go back. Ishimura said solemnly. Said. Bakugo Katsuki looked at Su Yuan with a stiff face. What's going on with this guy? We acted it, and he is really addicted. Saying that, Bakugo Katsuki thought that he had implicated Su Yuan, so he retorted, he is not Bakugo Katsuki. Ishimura sneered. It doesn't matter what the name is, my target is him. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.